Hey, welcome back, multifamily investors. Brandon here. You can see my face today. Please don't judge. It's Friday. I'm in my T-shirt. I am just analyzing deals and wrapping up to-do lists on uh, other transactions. But I know people appreciate a deal analysis, and I wanted to uh, run over this fourplex that came up in uh, Port Orchard, and it seemed like a good price. They had a price reduction. Uh, I've been watching it. I like the size of the units. They're two bed, one and a half bath. Uh, like the age, 1985. And uh, roof needs like looks like it needs a little work. I did some street view stuff and some Google satellite view, but um, you know, here's here's the details on it: two bed, one half bath. So you get an extra you get an extra toilet in each unit, which is attractive. Rents are low, not a surprise, right? We always see that. Uh, Tenants have been there a long time; they're all month to month. Um, so I wanted to kind of show you real quick again how I just go through this a few minutes and see because I know people, I clients that I have. This is in their price, they can afford this. This is in their budget, and this is the area they're looking for. This is Kitsap Peninsula, if you don't know the area. Uh, Porch is over there by Bremerton, so you get some Navy uh, tenant pool over there. But let's, uh, let me show you this. So it's a million dollars, right? 25% down, I pre-filled this in so I can keep this video uh, brief. 25% down is $250,000. Now I budget some CapEx, everybody's a little bit different. I, I think you should go in with a little bit of uh, reserves right when you buy a property on something like this maybe ten thousand could be five could be fifteen if you'd like um as of today may 5th happy Cinco de mayo uh we are looking maybe six and a half or so for our rates okay um four units here i've got the the prices the rents 1400 there's all one there's a straggler here at 1100 it's probably been there forever and i don't know why they have them up that web that unit may need a lot of work but the pro forma, right? The market rent. What are we looking at? Eighteen hundred is what I have in here, and that's because I went over here to rentometer again, and I I could check this a little bit deeper with my property manager or check Craigslist or Apartments.com. But just a, as a quick, again, super efficient uh, analysis snapshot, I'm trying to run here. I use Rentometer Pro. It gives me you know seventeen ninety five, eighteen hundred. So we call it eighteen hundred. We can see rent rents have been trending up since strongly since twenty twenty. Two beds in particular are up from last year. I go down here and I sort by size. I look for other stuff that's um, about a thousand square feet. Got a lot of 900 or so, but look, 1950, 2000, uh, 2095. Uh, but I like to be conservative. Let's, there's a 1661, 1795 condo, 1849. So I'm gonna stick with 1800, I think that's pretty reasonable. That's what we did the pro forma. Then a factor in a little bit of vacancy, not 5%. I can explain that in other details or if we have a call. 2% is good for a fourplex. Property taxes, insurance, seems a little high. I'm not quite sure, but I'm going off what the listing has. We go back in here. Like this is how I, how I generate a quick snapshot is whatever the listing agent enters then I can use taxes, insurance, okay, rents. Some of this we have to ballpark a little bit. If you're tracking with me here, 6120. Now, why did I do a, uh, a little a lot, about $24 less on the pro forma? The reason is because I think you could do 1850 and still build back approximately $50 a unit, which is $200 a month, which is $2,400 a year, which is why you should be rebuilding back for your water sewer garbage on your properties. If, if at all possible, legal in your area, uh, definitely out here in Washington, this is a trend and it's good to help tenants be conservative in their use, right? Because they'll be, it'll be on top of mind because they're paying part of it instead of just taking hour long showers and running six loads of laundry a day or whatever it is. Okay. Uh, management fee uh, my office in particular is offering $85 a door right now. So that comes out to be 40, 80 a, a year. Now, if you self-manage, that's a, that's a close to three fifty a month. You could add to your pocket. Currently going over here, it shows it's running about 1469 negative. So that's what I'm saying. If you self-managed, you could you'd be about a thousand dollars a month negative. Terrible, right? Million dollars, 25% down. Pro forma, if pay full price, 25% down. You got the rents up. Uh, you recaptured some of that utility. And I, I'm budgeting about 24 a year, 200 bucks a month in repairs, maintenance, and maybe some landscaping. Again, if you did that yourself, you could save another hundred bucks a month. But I think as is, you would be going from about 1500 negative, which is pretty steep. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest anybody run too long at that, right? But then you get to about a good target, $150 a door. That's pretty reasonable uh, for our area. Anything better than that is great. 
Uh, I'd like to see at least 600 get there. So uh, things to consider, you know, it's been sitting. So let's say we offer 944 because we always offer a creative number. How does that help? Well, now you're down about 1200. But look at how you can get your cash flow up. Now we're looking pretty good, over $200 a door. I like to see that. And if you refi three years down the road, maybe you got 5.75. Whoops. That cash flow explode to another 50% to 1200 a month. So we're not buying for one year, right? Uh, typically not even two years. We're not flippers. We're buy and hold investors, most of us. And we know rates are not going to stay at six and a half forever. They will go back up. They will go back down. At some point, you're going to be able to refi, ideally, uh, historically. And or maybe you 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 do the full price because you're trying to lock up the deal, but you got to put a little bit more down, 35% down. Um, whoops, hundred thousand. Team less leveraged. Um, it does help right now. I think we started here, what, at 1400 I showed at first. Now you're at negative 800, which is a little bit easier to absorb. Now you're going to get to 1225 and get these performa figures going. And again, these could all be improved if you self-manage, which I don't recommend, but some people want to. If you want to take care of your own landscaping, which, you know, it's up to you. And this is assuming a little bit of vacancy, which people stay forever. That's why these rents are low. You know, people tend to stay uh, 24 to 28 months, on 36 months on average. And I come across properties all week long where tenants have been there 10, 20 years. So, but we still still factor in a little bit there. Um, but anyway, that's the problem. People ask me, how do we get these done, Brandon? How do we get them done? They don't make sense. I understand. A million dollars, 25% down, a typical uh, typical way to finance a deal, right? 25% down, but, but the actual rents are not going to support that. So it takes time, it takes some patience, it takes some uh, deeper pockets maybe to run negative for a few months to so stabilize that property. We don't like to, we don't like to buy properties that bleed us dry, right? That doesn't make any sense for anybody. Uh, but understand that sometimes it takes some time to turn units, uh, get it stabilized, get the get up to market rent. Maybe put a little money into the to the units. I didn't even really show you pictures, but it's you know it's kind of dated, but. Um, some of these are nice. I did my video earlier about new listings or back on market. You know, these are newer cabinets, newer counters. Uh, it's not too bad, uh, but I could tell from my street view that, you know, it needed some, um, needed probably a new roof too, but we could negotiate that with a the seller. There's all kinds of things to negotiate when something's been sitting. I think this has been 40 days on the market, so it's right for opportunity for an offer. Um, but if you have any questions about how I run any of these numbers for a quick snapshot, let me know because this, this is what I send my clients, a little PDF, quick overview, unit size, lease terms, what we're looking at here. Then we're looking at here at the bottom, you know, what's it going to bleed us or what's going to make us, right? Year one and then getting it pro forma, hopefully by year two or so. Okay. I hope that is helpful. I appreciate you watching and I will do another one very soon.